Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this lecture, we will learn how to create a nested for loop in JavaScript. In the previous video, we learned for loop and its example. Now in this lecture, we will discuss nested for loop. So nested for loop is just a for loop inside for loop. Nested for loop used to access the dynamic array element or you can also use this for creating different patterns and for matrix manipulation. There are multiple ways to use nested for loop in your program. But we are using the nested for loop for dynamic array. Taking this lecture will help you to understand how nested for loop works and how you can use this for dynamic array. So let's create an example and after that I will explain everything in detail. So now here I just wanted to say for in the parenthesis I will specify let i is equal to 1 then I will specify expression so I will say i is less than 4 then I will increase the value of the i variable. I will specify compound statement and here we specify one more inner for loop. So I will say for let k is equal to 1, k is less than 4 and k plus plus. Now here I will print i and k value. So I will say console.log and here I will first specify i variable. I will print i variable value first, then specify comma to separate i and k value, right? And specify k variable here. So when this for loop executed, I will print i variable on the new line. So I will say console.log and specify a special character slash n. So this will print a character on the new line. Right? Now let me show you what is the output of this code. So I will just run this code. Right? You will get this output on your console. But it is really weird. So let me explain how this output came out. So first, outer for loop executed and specify 1 to the i variable then it will check i is less than 4 or not if the expression returns true then the body of the statement will execute so the i is less than 4 so the inner loop will execute right in the inner loop so we declare a k variable with the value 1 and check k is less than 4 or not so if the value of the k variable is less than 4 then this expression returns true and execute console.log statement so now you have a one value on the k variable so the expression will returns true and execute the console.log method so let me explain how it's work i will add a comment here now you have a i variable and the i variable contained value 1 right so first the outer for loop will evaluate the expression and execute the body so in the body we have a one more for loop so we declare k variable here so i will just say k so now the k variable is equal to 1 so i will say k equal to 1 right so when the inner loop execute it will print 1 and one value on the console right so i is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 so you will get 1 comma 1 on the console after that the value of the k variable will increase and execute the inner for loop again and now the value of the k variable became 2 and you will get 1 and 2 on the console after that the increment operator will increase the size of the k variable by 1 so now you have 3 in the k variable so now 3 is less than 4 so it will return true and execute console.log method 
So you have one in the i variable and three. So we'll get one and three on the console, right? Now the incremental operator increase the size of the k variable by one. Now you have four in the k variable. So now it will check if k is less than four or not. So it means it, it will check four is less than four or not. So the expression returns false and skip this console.log method after that it will print console.log on the console right here so you will get a new line over here after that the incremental operator will increase the size of the i variable right so now you have two in the i variable right it will check i is less than four or not so if i means two is less than four then this will execute the for loop again so now this will returns true and execute this for loop again so you will get 2 on the console and print 1 2 3 again so this loop will execute 3 time again right so now you have 1 in the k variable and 2 in the i variable so you will get 2 and 1 on the console right after that the k plus plus operator will increase the size of the k variable and k became 2 and then this for loop evaluate this expression and check if k is less than 4 or not now this statement returned true and execute console.log method again so you will get 2 and 2 on the console this will increase the size of the k variable again and the k value is equal to 3 so now you have a 3 in the k variable and this will check 3 is less than 4 it will return true and execute the console.log and you will get 2 and 3 on the console right after that the k value become 4 and it will check k is less than 4 or not so now 4 is less than 4 or not it will return false and skip this console.log method and execute this console.log method right so you will get this line on the console after that i will become 3 so this statement will increase the value of the i variable by 1 so the value of the i variable become 3 and check expressions this expression check 3 is less than 4 or not so now this expression returns true and execute the for loop again so this for loop executed three times so you will get one two three on the console with the i value so now you have three in the i variable so you will get three 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 on the console and the value of the k variable which is one two three so when this for loop terminated console.log method will execute so you will get a new line over here and the value of the i variable became 4 so now you have 4 in the i variable so it will check i is less than 4 or not so it will check 4 is less than 4 or not it will return false so when the expression return false so the outer loop will terminate and exit from the loop so you will get this output on the console so that is why you will get this type of output on the console. That's it. I hope you understand in a state for loop enough. Comment me if you have any question. That is all for this lecture. We will see you in the next tutorial.